The 2017 All Women Air Race Classic is an aerial race going through 14 states with a stop in Bemidji. Before heading off to their next stop in Spencer, Iowa, Haiti Clotter shows us how they take off to the friendly blue skies. Look up in the sky. Is it a bird? Is it a plane? Yes, it's the 41st Annual Air Race Classic taking flight out of Bemidji Regional Airport. It's one of the oldest races of its kind, dating back all the way to 1977. Bemidji is the fourth stop in the all-women cross-country race spanning nearly 3,000 miles. We've been planning since uh, probably December, January, and to have it actually come, come here and watch all the planes take off and talk to the all these women pilots from all across the country has been so fun. Brittany Danko may not be your typical pilot. She's currently a sophomore at Indiana State University. Danko's been flying for two years and gives a new meaning to balancing books and planes. At the end of the day, um, it makes it worth it because there's no feeling like being up in the sky. I would take that a million times over going out. Not only is the Air Race Classic a tradition for female pilots, it's also empowering by promoting women in aviation. Women make up 6% of the industry. In airlines, we only make up 4%. Danko says this race also inspires young girls. We had them sit in the cockpit and play with everything and at the end of that every time they'd say I want to be a pilot now. So we were really excited about that. 28 planes stayed overnight with their team that consisted of a pilot, co-pilot and an optional teammate. Racers follow visual flight rules and only fly during daylight hours. Weather also plays a major role on their route. If there's thunderstorms in the way, they'll have to either uh, fly around them or wait for the weather to break. Teams race against their own best time and not one another. May the best woman win. In Bemidji, Haiti Carter, Lakeland News. Racers have four days to finish and the race ends in Santa Fe, New Mexico on Friday. The winner will receive prizes valued at more than $16,000. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.